Hey there you guys, welcome back. Today we are going to do a little bit of a transplant of this little Euphorbia. Not sure what exactly type this uh, Euphorbia cactus is, but I really enjoy it. And I bought this one when it was this tall. And you're going to say, well Bill, oh my goodness, how, <laughs> how long did it take to get that big? I'm going to say, I bought it in the late spring? Uh, so maybe in uh, in June, maybe, maybe even July, and uh, August, September, October, November. Uh, it has been about four months, and it's grown this much. And when I got it, it had about uh, two or three leaves, and now it's just full of leaves. And it's doing, it's doing beautifully. I love this one. Uh, so, I don't know, are you able to see it better on this camera? It looks amazing. I've always wanted to have uh, one of these cactuses that have the uh, the little leaves on it. The Euphorbia, I really like it. It'll eventually get all kinds of little arms growing across it. Um, but it's in this tiny little pot, and I thought it might be a good time to uh, to change it up. So we're going to put it in this uh, in this terracotta pot. I think that a four inch pot is nice enough for right now. I don't want to go too big with it, but I didn't want to go too small either. So the terracotta, this will be its home for, for a while. Uh, so And it's going to look nice. There's already a little bit of um, age to the, to the pot. It looks really cool. So um, I put some, uh, some stones in the bottom of the pot to, uh, to add as a little bit of drainage. I'm using uh, some, uh, some regular all-purpose potting soil. This is my, my Pro-Mix potting soil. This is really dry. This was just off to the side. Uh, and uh, I put in, what is this? This is called Grow Stones, uh, and it's, um, it's a recycled glass material, kind of like a perlite, um, but this actually will absorb some moisture, unlike perlite. Uh, but this is going to add um, uh, airflow, because it's, it's got a nice big particle size to it, so it'll be, it'll be perfect. These euphorbias like to dry out between waterings, but uh, they, they don't want to be completely dry, all the time. Uh, you'll find that if, if, uh, if it's allowed to dry out for too, too long, uh, it'll drop all of its leaves. So if you want to keep the leaves going, you want to make sure that it doesn't uh, get like crazy bone dry like an average cactus. But um, you do want to let it dry out significantly between waterings. It's just kind of a juggling game. Um, you're not going to kill it if you, if you let it dry out a long, long time. But uh, yeah. And if you keep it too wet, it will probably rot. So anyway, it, it, it's a it's slip, slippery slope. It seems to like what I'm doing right now, and I do water this one maybe once a week, but in this pot size, this pot dries out really fast. So when I move it to this one, I'm not going to have to water it once a week. It'll probably be once every two weeks, once every month, um, in the house over the winter, uh, but I will just monitor the, 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 the moisture level of the soil by, by touching it, sticking my finger in the pot, you want it to be mostly dry before you water it again. So, and these cactus, they like to be uh, in full sun. They like uh, they like lots and lots of light. Uh, potentially, if it's outside, you might want to have it shaded from the really really hot hot uh, midday sun. But uh, they should be able to handle full sun anyway. But if you're taking it from inside and moving it outside, start in a part shade spot uh, just so that you don't burn it. Um, the light inside is, is significantly less than the light outside. So just keep that in, under consideration. And uh, yeah, generally cactus like lots and lots of light. This is sitting under the grow lights. This actually doesn't get very much light. I'm surprised it is growing so well. Uh, I would say that um, it's probably good enough light for an African violet. Uh, maybe a little bit higher. But uh, it seems to be not be doing too badly. Anyway, enough with the rambling. Let's get to the potting. So I'm going to take some of this soil, I'm going to fill the bottom of the pot, look at the plumes of, of dust, oh god. So then we're just going to unpot this. Look at how adorable that is, look at how small that is. I don't even see any roots really. Oh, there's some roots. <laughs> Very few, can you see those? So I'm just going to, I'll actually bury this a little bit deeper than what it was, and it will root along its base. Uh, it'll it'll root wherever it's touched. These guys are super easy to take cuttings from. You're just going to take uh, maybe at least a, 
at least a four or a six inch cutting and then let it sit and callus over for a couple of weeks and then uh, pop it in the, the, the soil and Bob's your uncle. Good old Uncle Bob. It'll root and you'll have more little babies. It'll be perfect. So there we go. <laughs> that was that was super easy. So I'm just going to give this a, a quick drink and then uh, like I said I'm going to monitor the uh, the water in, the, in this pot. Since it's in a clay pot it's going to dry out faster than if it was in a plastic pot but I'm just going to touch the soil and I'm going to see if it's uh, if it's dry. If it's still got moisture in it I can wait a few days maybe another week uh, but yeah like I said in this size pot I won't need to water it nearly as often as when it was in this size pot for obvious reasons this will dry out in a day uh, and I would water it once a week, maybe once every two weeks, but uh, this one will not need it nearly as much. So I'm eager to see what this looks like. I want to keep you updated on this one because I really like it. Uh, there's so many varieties of these ones. This one I just thought was really, uh, really cool. I love the reddish hue to the leaves. Uh, many times these are just regular green. So anyway, I hope you enjoyed this. Uh, please come to the Plants and Things What's Growing page on Facebook. Uh, show me what you're growing. Maybe you're growing a bunch of succulents like these guys. These euphorbias are really cool. Euphorbia is such a huge group of plants. Uh, there's cactus and, and succulents and, and uh, just regular annuals that, that uh, or perennials, I guess. But uh, there's so much variety in the euphorbia family. And uh, yeah, I'd love to see what you're growing. And until next time, happy growing, everyone.